Well, some of the diseases that are positively impacted by vitamin D, let's start out with uh, the disease that uh, frightens women to death, and that is breast cancer. We know that among women who have the very highest vitamin D levels, there's a 65% reduction in the risk of ever having a breast cancer. With men who are out as little boys sunbathing for years, when they become adults, their chance of ever getting a prostate cancer is actually reduced by 81%. More than any drug that will ever be developed will ever do for cancer. We have the answer to many of these cancers and so forth. We also have a dramatic reduction in heart disease. People with the lowest vitamin D levels have two and a half times the chance of dropping dead of a heart attack as people with the highest levels. And uh, the same is with, with type 2 diabetes. Blood pressure is nearly six times as high in people with low vitamin D levels as high vitamin D levels. That's because this magnificent hormone has what we call vitamin D receptors throughout the body. And if we have those vitamin D receptors, we need vitamin D to come and lock on to those receptors because they are the keys that turn on the genetic library. Or my, a better analogy might be they're the keys that turn on the vitamin D engine and the anti-cancer engine and the anti-high blood pressure engine and the anti-depression engine and it goes on and on. We need vitamin D for all of those diseases and uh, vitamin D has to be there in the body to lock on to the vitamin D receptor and then we turn that key and it turns on the engine for whatever it is we need.